What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. So today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn issue number 17. This is Spawn's desperate fight for survival where he's battling Malboja, the Redeemer, aka the anti-Spawn and his own past. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So we begin this issue where somewhere in time there is laughter. Malboja is mocking his as he surveys the work that he's done and he declares it good. As he gazes down upon the man he condemned to the unliving hell, that's Al Simmons. And he laughs and mocks as Al Simmons is trying to seek the more truth to what happened. And he mocks and laughs as Spawn learned that the body he currently wears is not his earthly body, which lies decaying in his grave, as Al Simmons recently discovered when he tried to discover his own grave. So Malboja takes him on a journey, and because they're in a spirit realm, Spawn says he hears a voice in his head that he can never forget, and it's like fingernails grating on the blackboard. And he feels this cold hand surrounding him, and it takes him to a place. And and where Malboja takes him to is this place. It's a realm and a gateway to hell. It's a portal that occupies part of the military testing ground in Nevada, and it's what they call, you know, Simmonsville, referencing from the last issue. So Malboja explains that hell is built up of a substance that your people have taken from us, calling it the psychoplasm. But little does Al know that psychoplasm was the exchange for Al Simmons. And what psychoplasm does is it is it adapts itself to human thoughts and fears. So when you died, Al, psychoplasm acted upon your memories. Just as your new spawn body is composed of psychoplasm, it can change its shape. So too can this gateway to assume the forms of any thoughts or emotions imprinted upon it. So Balboja takes Al Simmons back to a time and he asks him, do you remember the day when you and Wanda were on the lake and you bent your knee and begged Wanda to marry you? <laughs> How touching, he mocks him again. Not your wife, just a stray memory given to a flesh. But how such memories must sting when you think of her in the arms of another man. Oh, I delight in your sadness, little hell spawn. Each day you are more my slave. It will not be long before you crawl towards my throne and take my place in my army. Well, actually not take his place, but take Spawn's place in his army. So somewhere in time in the Angel Orbital Station, the soldier is ready. These orbital angels are preparing their anti-spawn and they prepare to dispatch him into Earth and they pray for a swift kill. So there is a brief sound like a choir catching its breath and a silver white comet explodes down through the upper atmosphere. Spawn, he's going through this turmoil of what Mount Boge is showing and mocking and feeling like you took my soul. Where are you, bastard? Where are you? He feels Malboja in the spirit but not in the physical so this impact of an anti-spawn redeemer lands spawn is like I don't know what the hell that is but my skin is crawling with static there's something more there's something there what is it oh it is something bad all right and his redeemer talking about hell spawn I'm come for you and it's time to get down with the get down but before we get down with the get then we gotta take it back to Wanda Blake and Terry and on CNN this reporter talks about that meanwhile in Washington government sources are refusing to confirm or deny rumors about the disappearance of controversial president advisor Jason Wynn. Jason Wynn was scheduled to appear in a live television debate early but keep in mind in the previous issue Wynn was abducted by the orbital station because he was selected to be their new redeemer or anti-spawn. So Wanda Blake is watching this and was like are they talking about Al? And he's like no not really so he changes the channel and they're just talking about Jason Wynn and I'm pretty sure it's not something you want to hear about. So Wanda tells Terry that you know she never liked Wynn. And Wanda tells Terry that when Jason Wynn came around when her and Al were married, he always gave her the creeps. So Terry comforts Wanda and tells her that Jason was involved in a lot of bad stuff, but he always managed to keep his nose clean. So he's reaffirming that your feelings, your suspicions about him, they were correct. So Wanda is just like, you know, it really doesn't matter anymore because it's not like we don't know where Jason Wynn's at and, and if he's vanished off the face of the earth, it doesn't matter no more. So my mind is on you. It's not on Al. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this relationship going. Little does she know that for Jason Wynn, he has been reborn as the anti-spawn and stands face to face with his old adversary, Al Simmons, though neither man suspects it. They just come, to, they just want to take each other's head off. So anti-spawn blasts away and knocks Al Simmons back. So whatever he throws at him, it hits spawn like a freight train. It feels like something inside him just caught fire like hot glass and acid in his veins. Everything spins and a wall comes up behind him colors as he goes through a church window he's in pain he's in agony 
lightning crackling down his nervous systems. He can smell incense and old wood and it hurts him real bad. This is a church that, did he marry Wanda in? Is this all going through his head? But no, it's not a church that he married Wanda in. It's just a church he happens to be in. These other demons in are like, ha ha ha, look what we have here. It's the hell spawn. It smells like the hell spawn. It's the hell spawn, all right. Not so high and mighty now, is he? So as they come in and ready to take his symbiote off of him, well, you know, they're not gonna enjoy that because for one, they smell opportunity in the road to, let's get a, let's get a symbiote suit right now before the great Malboja. But at the same time, Anti-Spawn comes in like, stand away from him, he's mine. And he blasts him away and incinerates him. It's a stink of burning meat and sulfur. Who is this guy as a Spawn? He's never faced anything with so much raw power before. And what if he's stronger than Spawn? And how come he feels like he knows who this guy is? Well, that's because you do know who this guy is, but you really don't know. But you get that feeling like I've met him before because you have. But it makes it all the more interesting. So anti-spawn says, see, see how the holy burning light of heaven dispels the darkness. Now you hell spawn. I'll make you scream. Now, before we go into the screaming part, we get this part of Simmonsville going down in flames. And Mayor Val is just like, you know, we cannot let this go up in flames. And I believe this is a symbolism of what's going on with spawn right now. How he feels like his world is just crashing down and burning in front of him right now as he fights his agent anti spawner the redeemer he wants to save the program because it means too much to the government to let it go all out to manifest the fears of your enemies and use that to your advantage that is one powerful weapon that they're not gonna they're not just gonna let that go so back to spawn duking it out with the redeemer he can't take much more of this pain and he's got to try to take him out so as he regroups himself blasts off away well turns well he has every intention on hitting him but he missed and he's still coming after him the next blast if spawn were to take another blast from him it will kill him and he's got to get out of here so what he does is he teleports and it's kind of like a switch that just snaps in his brain so as he dissolves his body as he describes how he's the feeling of being teleported everything falls inward like a collapsing balloon the world breaks up and goes out and he's traveling like a shotgun blast through unspaced at the speed of light stressed molecules with shrieking with shock kind of painful how you describe all that but spawn is like you know i'm never gonna believe anything i see on star wars again teleportation hurts and it hurts bad He's kind of drawn to this place he calls home, the alleyways. As he makes impact or makes his arrival be known, he tells his comrades to get away. All of you, he might be able to follow. Just get away. And they're happy to see him. Like, it's the Spawn. What's up, big boy? How you doing? And Spawn's like, no, I ain't trying to have no time for no meet and greet. Just go. Get out of here. But as it turns out, anti-spawn teleports too and spawns like it can't be he can't have come after me so soon i need more time and in redeemer anti-spawn comes out like you can't hide boy i could track you through time and space to the ends of the earth there's nowhere to run from death and he blasts him again and it gets to the point upon the impact spawns like man i can't see straight everything is broken up inside is that blood in my eyes or what is it and it's this costume coming alive bleeding and moaning and He's just in so much pain. Anti spawns like, don't you understand the pain? Burning aside, white fire, they set light to my soul. If I kill you, the angels will let me rest. And Spawn doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know that he's in the middle of a war between heaven and hell. So he's like, angels, what is he talking about? I'm losing consciousness there. I cannot take another impact. Well, guess what? Redeemer is going to redeem himself and put up another impact to Spawn. And from this blast right here, it looks like as if Spawn has a whole blast through his chest. And he's in pain, lays down on the ground. He's like, I can't take any more of this bull jive. And Redeemer goes on this rant like, my head's filled with light. I can't think straight. I just have to kill you. Then the fires will go out. I was once a man. Was I a man? He questioned himself on that. Now I'm a fiery soldier of heaven. Heaven's hunter. Heaven's higher. And you? And he takes out this uh, hell spawn lightsaber sword upon from his wrist. You're just prey to me. And he's about to swipe away at spawn to, you know, looks like he's going to end him right then and there. He tells him, your time's up, Hellspawn, and that is the end of this issue. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know, and also link in the description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. This is definitely a, a fun read. I definitely like this better than part one because we get to see him duke it out, and that was fun for me. And don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some real cool comic books and some real cool Rated Comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Lastly, this review is sponsored by Coffee because I've been doing 
doing this before my kids got up but midway i edited out of course my daughter came in and tried to want to she wanted you know daddy to make her some pancakes and bacon which i'm gonna do after recording this video so link in description you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to rated comics youtube channel thank you again for watching until next time